Hello, welcome to this new feature video for uh, Magic Ad for Revit 2018. Uh, in this video we're going to be going over some of the improvements that we've made to our wire drawing tool. Um, in uh, the latest version we've um, made an improvement to the search functionality. Um, so when you're selecting a wire type you can actually search uh, in here for uh, different wire types as you can see um, and then once you've filtered your selection uh, of wire types you can just choose the appropriate type from the list. Um, this is especially useful when you have a great deal of wire types in your project um, especially large projects um, it helps you uh, filter down the, the, the list of wire types very quickly and easily um, also, uh, we've made improvements to the way that we actually draw wires as well. Um, here we've added um, an orthogonal automatic offset, um, which uh, allows you to draw an orthogonal line uh, whilst also including um, your automatic offset um, for, for chamfered lines. This uh, tool also uh, allows you to set your automatic offset angle as well. Um, so um, you, you can choose, uh, depending on your company standards, which uh, angle you, you, you choose to use. Um, we've made some further improvements as well to guides, but I'll come back to those a little bit later on. Uh, for now, I'll show you how this automatic drawing tool works. Uh, here we have some external luminaires uh, around the perimeter of a building. Um, in this instance, I want to draw uh, the wires um, from the nearest point. Uh, so to do that, I just click on the device at the nearest point to where I want the wire to connect. Click on the next device again at the nearest point. You can see there that draws a, a, a chamfered line um, with the uh, offset. Uh, as we determined uh, in the settings and then here as we come around the corner uh, again I click on the first device the second device and then at this point I choose um, which side I want uh, the orthogonal line to be drawn so in this case around the outside and you can see there it's automatically inserted the uh, orthogonal line um, with the offset and then uh, just to finish off this example, there uh, you can see um, the, the wire has been drawn according to the method that we chose earlier in the settings. The last improvement that we've uh, made to this uh, tool, uh, which I'm going to go over with you now, is um, uh, being able to draw freehand. Uh, in some instances, the um, automatic tools not going to be able to resolve uh, a, a route uh, for your automatic offset so for this situation uh, you're going to want to draw freehand um, to assist with uh, doing this we've created uh, this guide grid um, what this allows you to do is um, set some uh, predefined spacings for uh, a guide um, this guide allows you to um, snap to particular points on the grid um, uh, also um, you can uh, select uh, various angles as well um, these angles you can predefine in certain increments and again what this allows you to do is draw slightly more accurately uh, when you're drawing freehand by utilizing um, the, the spacing and angles that you can define here so to show you uh, how this works uh, as you can see here we've got uh, a perimeter uh, running at 45 degrees around this building and we want to detail the wires around these devices so uh, with this tool we can choose our first device and then choose our free end um, drawing tool uh, in this case I'm gonna just select uh, 100 mil away from the actual um, device there. I'm going to use the, the guide grid to, to guide me along uh, at regular points and then attach that to the next device and then again um, we start from our first device go on our free end drawing here 
and you can see it's very easy to follow the, the guide grid and uh, build up a uh, straightforward way of detailing around the perimeter of an awkwardly shaped building. Okay, uh, that concludes our overview of the uh, enhancements to the wire tool in uh, Magic Ad for Revit 2018. Thanks very much for watching.